Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Nkenna. I am responsible for everything that goes on here. As you can tell from the title of today's video, I am gonna be doing another wig unboxing slash review. Today we are unboxing the Bobby Boss Xenon unit. The style code is MLF178. I did purchase this unit from Wig Types and it is in the color 1 Jet Black. As always on the information card you're going to find the other colors that this style comes in. This unit is handmade, it is Swiss lace, and it does have five inches of parting space. The unit is made of a premium high heat fiber, however it does not say what it is heat safe up to, so I would just assume anywhere from 350 degrees to 400 degrees just to be safe. This unit is giving me all types of Kelly Rowland and I want to say Tika Sumter vibes. I love it. It is so cute. Um, this alone would convince me not to ever chop off my hair because for a while I got a bad haircut and I was like I'm just gonna get a really cute bob but with this there's no reason to. On the back of the information card, it does look like this is cut um, more as like, a, I don't wanna say chili bowl cut, but I'm trying to think it's cut the same length around. However, as you guys can see in person, it is cut at an angle. In terms of luster on this unit, it does have that healthy hair, uh, very shiny, well moisturized, but it doesn't look like plastic shiny. It has like just a healthy, natural luster. In terms of texture, it does have a kinky straight type of texture. It looks like natural hair that has been cut or maybe relaxed hair that you just gently pass the flat iron over. So it has a good amount of texture to it and it makes it look more realistic. I personally think that um, those kinky straight units or yakky textured units are more believable. So taking a closer look at the unit, you guys can see that there are two combs at the very top of the unit surrounding the parting space. And then at the bottom of the unit, there's one additional comb as well as adjustable straps on both sides. So straight out of the package, this is what the unit looks like. This is just to show you guys what the parting space looks like. As you guys can see, it does come with that custom amount of lace that most synthetic units do come with. My initial thoughts, it looks like this was very poorly cut. It's very, very choppy. Um, I'm not really a fan. I'm going to pass my flat iron over it. Uh, but just looking at this side, it's not really going to show up very well. You guys might catch glimpses of it, but it just looks really, really choppy. Like I understand that this is supposed to be a blunt cut, but this side looks a little more smoother than this side. Um, so we'll see if I can you know, fix that, remedy that with my flat iron. Um, but as always, I'm going to go ahead and style the unit to my satisfaction and then come back to you guys at the very end with all my thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, anything like that. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I just went in with powder, flesh tone powder, scalp toned powder, not flesh tone, scalp tone powder, apply that to the parting space. One thing that I will say is it had that little line of demarcation at the very front of the unit. So I just had to put a little extra powder um, in that specific area just to get rid of that um, but I mean now it's just a seamless transition between my forehead and the parting space. I did pass my flat iron over this once and it does look a little bit better however it is still pretty choppy it's right here it's uneven it's like they just you can see this chunk right here that's where it is so that's bothering me because honestly I don't want to have to go in and, and fix it manipulate it and then I'm gonna have to cut this side to match this side this side for the most part is I mean it's pretty it's clean cut um, but here you can see that chunk is missing so we'll see uh, maybe I'll manipulate it maybe not honestly it's not that noticeable until you turn to the side and somebody's really staring at you um, but I mean, this is it. You didn't really have to do too much manipulation. I did pass the flat iron over this once. I only did it in the very front portion um, just to kind of keep everything together and get it out of my face because it was it was really messy and it was everywhere, but now it's kind of staying in place. In terms of shedding, that's how much shedding that I got. Um, I mean, it's not terrible, but then also, I mean, as I'm brushing it, just one or two strands keep coming out. So that can be annoying. So it's just something to think about. In terms of movement, the unit has really good movement. It's very natural, not stiff at all. As always with any synthetic unit, I would remind you to bring a brush with you just so that you can tame it, get it back together, keep it looking solid um, and very, very uniform. To brush it, I just use my Denman brush. Parting space does go pretty far back. It's to right here on my head. However, as you can see, I just kind of did like a gradient effect and just put powder um, about halfway and then stopped because I don't think that's natural to have a part all the way to the very top of 
above your head. Overall, I think that this is a very cute unit. The only con is that chunk that's missing from the unit. It just, it looked very sloppy. This is definitely work appropriate. I think it looks so cute. Very cute for going out, very cute for summer. It's not too much hair on your neck, which is also very, very good if you're like me. The movement is amazing. Like it, it moves with you, which is good. You don't want a stiff unit. I can definitely appreciate that it is cut at an angle rather than it just being the same length all around. The shedding is something to keep in mind, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. In terms of the density on this unit, it has a very realistic density. It's nice, healthy, um, thick, but it's not too thick to the point where it starts looking wiggy. I have a big head and the cap size is fitting very snugly to my head. It's not cutting off my circulation. It feels nice and secure. As always, I try to avoid using the combs on the unit. So, I mean, it's fitting snugly to my head and I didn't use any of the combs. I didn't adjust any of the straps in the back of the unit. But yeah, that is pretty much everything. As always, I really hope that you guys found this helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, definitely leave them down below. If you guys liked the video or found it helpful, definitely give this video a like. Click that thumbs up button. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much everything. As always, I'll make sure that I have all the important pertinent information down in the description box below. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Are you happy where you are? Right now. Are you happy where you are? Right now. Are you with somebody else? Do you wonder if you're supposed to be with somebody else?